Well, guys, it's time for predictions to set the field for the first ever CONCACAF Women's Gold Cup. Guys, Matty G back here with you on Football with Flags. Thanks so much for joining us, as always, and let's get to it. Big implications, of course, with this Olympic playoff as the winner would go on with the United States to represent CONCACAF in next year's Olympics, as well as get an automatic spot into the Gold Cup next year. It's a two-legged playoff between Jamaica and Canada starting on, on September 22nd. Last time these two teams faced off was in the 2022 CONCACAF Women's Championship semifinal, where Canada would go on to win that game 3 no, we saw how both of these teams did in the World Cup this past summer. A disappointing run for Canada, getting bumped out in the group stage. Uh, a lot of talent on this team, some really good attacking options as well, uh, but just were not able to get the job done. Meanwhile, Jamaica become just the third ever CONCACAF team to reach the knockout stage in a Women's World Cup as they went without scoring a single goal in the group stage before getting bumped out by Colombia in the round of 16. Of course, Bunny Shaw is going to have to be a huge factor in this tie if Jamaica want to try and automatically advance. We know, again, the talent that Canada has. It's just whether or not can they consistently play uh, and take care of their chances as well. They had a lot of good opportunities in their group stage games during the World Cup, but just were unable to finish them. Um, I think this is a really interesting tie between these two teams. I think it's really going to boil down to if Jamaica can continue to play well defensively, uh, keep this first leg, maybe nil-nil, uh, hopefully maybe score first and really try and hang on to that lead. Will it stay much more competitive going into the second leg? I do believe if Canada are able to take a lead early, um, manage the game the way they want to set the tempo, then Jamaica could be chasing for a long time. Uh, as Canada are certainly going to try and look to wear Jamaica down in possession as much as possible, keep the ball, and, and just create numerous opportunities in their own final third. Uh, again, I hope that this is a good tie. I hope that we at least go into the second leg with a tight battle uh, and have a very good competitive second 90 minutes. But I do have Canada moving on automatically uh, to defend their Olympic gold medal that they won back in 2021. Well, if you guys didn't see our video last week on the official format for this qualification process, certainly go check that out. We've got a little key there at the top to show you again how this is all going to work with these three teams in each group. The top team finishing off will move on to the tournament automatically. Meanwhile, the second place team will go to a playoff while third place getting all around eliminated. We'll start off with Group A, of course, beginning with Puerto Rico, who have drawn their last four contests. Uh, not a lot of experience for this team. They're currently ranked 103rd in the world. Really haven't found themselves in a lot of tournaments either. Uh, previously, again, this federation's only been around for this women's side since 1998. Uh, and for that, I'm going to have them finishing third in this group. As for Mexico and Trinidad and Tobago, we'll start off with Mexico, who are currently ranked 36th in the world at the moment. They've missed the last two World Cup cycles, which has certainly been disappointing uh, in terms of their standards. They were also knocked out of the group stage in the last CONCACAF Women's Championship last year uh, with zero points in the group stage. However, at least one positive note they can take the last time they faced Puerto Rico, they did win that game 4-0, and that's who they open up with in this group. As for Trinidad and Tobago, they were bumped out of the 2022 CONCACAF Women's Championship as well in the group stage without scoring a single goal. So the 75th ranked team in the world in the women's game, uh, not a bright start in terms of, again, just facing other teams in this region, but a good opportunity for them to at least finish second in this group. And that's where I have them finishing and getting to a playoff with an opportunity to maybe make this field down the road. So again, with that, we've got Mexico winning the group and automatically advancing to the Gold Cup. As for Group B, of course, Jamaica getting bumped out by Canada in that playoff means that they have to come back into Group B and face qualification to try and advance automatically to the tournament. So they'll be in the group with Panama and Guatemala. We'll start off with Guatemala, who have not been involved with a CONCACAF competition since 2014. They currently are ranked 83rd in the world in the women's game. I feel like it's going to be a really tough task for this side to be able to take on Panama and Jamaica, considering the uh, you know, recent performances by these two teams who, again, just came off a World Cup back in the summer. They've got to be feeling pretty confident about their programs and moving forward. If Guatemala can maybe point 
grab a point off of one of them or at least give them a tight battle in some of these games. I certainly would be impressed by that, but I don't see them uh, taking out Panama or Jamaica to get into one of those top two spots. So we do have them finishing third. As for Panama, currently ranked 55th in the world. Obviously, coming off their first ever World Cup appearance this past summer, a 1 0 loss to Jamaica in the group stage. It was a tight battle, and I certainly expect that it's going to be tight between these two teams and their two fixtures for this group to see who comes out on top. Uh, again, it's a tight 1 0 loss to J- Jamaica and the Reggae Girls in that group stage. However, they come back, get a lead against France in their group stage finale, wind up losing 6 to 3, but again, collect their first ever World Cup goal and put on a really good performance in that game. I think they've got to p- feel pretty confident about themselves moving forward. And if they even finish second in this group, uh, getting through. Uh, based off of a playoff spot. So I do have them finishing second. I think it's going to be incredibly tight between them and Jamaica, uh, but I think the reggae girls are just going to be able to edge them out for that top spot, who again come off a fantastic run to the knockout stages in the round of 16 in this previous World Cup. They finished uh, third twice in the CONCACAF Women's Championship before in 2018 and 2022. I definitely feel like this Jamaican side, while again, disappointing to lose to Canada in that playoff as we predicted. feel like they're going to bounce back pretty strongly in this group and uh, make a good case to directly qualify to the competition through here. On to the final group in League A with Costa Rica, Haiti, and St. Kitts and Nevis. We'll start off with St. Kitts and Nevis uh, currently way down in the rankings at 131 in the women's game. Uh, This program for the Women's Federation started back in, I believe, 2006. They don't really have any competition history. Uh, The biggest thing that I'm looking for this side to do is at least compete against these two teams. If they can uh, steal a result out of one of them, I think that would certainly be impressive. But I think they've got a tall order ahead of them, considering, again, another two teams from this region coming off a World Cup uh, performance back here in the summer. And, And again, both played pretty well. Start off with Costa Rica, who are 43rd currently in the women's game. Only one goal in the World Cup this past summer. But again, you think about how difficult that group was. They had Japan, who were considered a favorite at one point. Spain, who go on to win the entire tournament. And then a, a tough African side in Zambia that they faced um, and lost 2 3 to 1. A very difficult group, arguably the best group that we saw in that competition. Uh, It was just their second appearance in a World Cup. They did, however, finish fourth in last year's CONCACAF Women's Championship. I think they're going to look to really bounce back and have a strong showing in this, uh, whether it's through them qualifying automatically or having to go through a playoff. I definitely feel like we we should see Costa Rica in this tournament uh, through one way or another. As for Haiti, first ever performance in a World Cup this past summer. Really solid showing. Again, they were in a very tight group as well with England, Denmark and uh, China got bumped out in the group stage but again two losses one nil to both England and China uh, and and they were in those games I mean they had a really good chance against England late Mary Earps had to come up with a huge save Uh, China were down to 10 on the field Uh, it really felt like Haiti had some good opportunities to win that game or at least steal a point out of it and were unable to do so Uh, I definitely feel like this this Haiti team is very talented they've got a lot of speed really good in transition and don't forget too that the last time Costa Rica and Haiti faced one another they split their last two contests uh, I believe back last summer so again I think these two are going to wind up splitting with one another as well could potentially come down to goal differential on how well they do against St. Kitts and Nevis but right now I'm actually going to have Haiti winning group C with Costa Rica going to the playoff so after all of that nine out of the 12 spots have been taken in this competition leaving just three remaining through a playoff Of course, the three teams in League A all finishing in second place would move on to this. Meanwhile, the top team in each group of League B would move on as well. And in our predictions, we've got Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, and Guyana all moving forward. Again, this will all be decided, though, based off the ranking system that is going to be updated in December through CONCACAF to decide the seeding in terms of which teams will play who for this playoff. But currently, right now, this is what it would look like if it were to come out today. Costa Rica taking on Nicaragua, Panama taking on Dominican Republic, and Trinidad and Tobago taking on Guyana. Now we're going to hold off on doing predictions for this playoff just because, again, there's so much still left to be decided in terms of actually getting these groups underway, getting some games 
uh, finally started. And then, of course, just deciding who all is able to advance and whatnot. And especially with CONCACAF having to update the ranking system as well. We'll go over all of that uh, in due time down the road. But again, this is just a potential look at how these final three spots would be decided. Guys, as always, thanks again so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And please let us know down in the comments as well your own predictions for this qualification process. As there's still a lot to be decided to set the field for this Gold Cup as well as determine who else is going to the Olympics next summer. A lot more in store as well this week on other competitions. So make sure you stay tuned for that as well. Hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you soon. Peace.